Oh, it's your car. Yeah. Tell me what you like. If that's that, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to pay more in comps in this market. Twenty six fifty or twenty seven fifty. We'll flip a coin for it. it. Sounds like you're you're trying to sell a collection. I have no idea where we're going. All right, so we're here at the Sports Card Expo here in Toronto, and we're here speaking on a panel, but kind of through conversation with the host of the show, Mikey, he connected us with a lady named Donna who has a collection, her husband died, and so we're trying to follow the path to see if we can look at that collection. Thank you so much. Yeah, appreciate yeah, that. Love that thing. Appreciate Wish it. Those episodes would come out a little quick. Right? Right? You got to talk to this guy. He's the guy that does it all. <laughs> yeah, no, they're they're really, really, really well done. Thank you. I really love what I do for a living, but God, I love what that. It just seems like so. You need to live vicariously through me. Oh no, no, I'm telling you, man. I'm yeah. telling you, I I do a podcast and a video podcast for my firm. Oh, okay. Every week we do. We do have a whole production team, so I know the amount of work that that yeah that goes yeah. into that. We do a ninety-minute show every week. Oh man, and it's, that's uh, legit. Yeah, it's it's legit. But you you guys do you guys do good work. Well, thank you, man. It's I appreciate fun that. Watching the uh, the human interest stories are the best. Man. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Mike Reed. Mike from Reed. Detroit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, from yeah. Detroit. Okay. Detroit. Detroit. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much for creating that. Uh, that you is so like it's such a wholesome, wholesome, genuine show. Cool. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. Cool. The kids. Where are the kids? They wanted to meet you. Where did the kids go? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be on stage here in about 20 minutes. If oh, you guys yeah? wanna come with Jeff Wilson with Sports Card Investor, you probably watch him too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. we'll be up there with him. All right, beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, man. Good to meet you guys. How are you? Good. You digging the show? Yeah. Thank you. What size do you wear? I only have two shirts left. It's too small for you. Dang it. <laughs> oh, it's maybe it might be good enough for you. We watch your show all the time, man. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. You guys wearing XL? Yeah. XL right here. We got one left. This is going to one of you guys. All right, take it in. Whatever. You have it anyway. <laughs> Use it for a rag. Well, it's good to meet you guys. Let me see that right there, right? That is top five holy grail for me. 94 Upper Deck Mantle Griffey Auto. How's it going? Steph Curry Kaboom, man. This is the type of stuff that... It's really fun to find. If you can find a Kaboom or some of this cool stuff I mean, in Canada, maybe you can negotiate, get a better deal. Okay. All right, so we're learning pretty quick that we don't know enough about hockey, so we're here with some true hockey fans that are, that you guys live in Toronto, right? Yeah, we've got Charlie here, Henry, and I'm Blair. What's up, guys? So tell what's going on here. You're ripping some boxes. Yeah. Give us a lowdown on hockey. This guy's got some tins. He's got a, that's all Maple Leafs tin, and you got all Maple Leafs tin. Obviously, a hometown team. These guys are lucky that they get to go to a, a lot of Leafs games. And then we got this uh, Young Guns tin. So Series 1. Yeah, had a good deal. Upper deck. And this is the upper deck breaking here, so you're supposed to just only break upper deck ones. And this one's pretty cool because we talked about earlier off camera about Kind of the blue chip yeah hockey guys or your mcdavid ovechkin here's another one that you guys can keep an eye out for with montreal canadians it's cole caulfield nickname is gold caulfield how's the show is this exceeding expectations we're first timers at the show oh okay yeah. all right so it's a lot of, just like you guys open the door cool you know it's awesome so far Yeah, there's like not any. <laughs> You're right. There's like no comps. It's, it's, I've literally, we've had this card for like two years. When I got it, there was one comp on it. And I've never seen it one since then. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to have you both open up a couple packs of Tim Hortons hockey. They're getting their start in content creation. <laughs> okay, now that you got all six cards, what's your favorite and why? Um, I'd probably say the... Joel Farabee card. Not bad. Good name. And why is it your favorite? I just like the team's colors. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. That's listen. Sometimes that's how it starts. My favorite is the Carey Price. It's a gold etching. It's nice. Show it up to the crowd. He's actually an amazing goalie. All right. So we just walked out of the Sports Card Expo. We were speaking on a panel tonight uh, about the state of the hobby. 
and Mikey, uh, the event coordinator, walked over to us and said, hey, we got an obscure lead from a lady whose husband just passed away. And she's looking to sell her collection, was actually hoping to open up a booth here, but it didn't work out. And he gave us her number and said, you should call her and see if there's something you can do while you're here in Toronto. And so I'm gonna call up, uh, I'm gonna call up Donna and see if there's some sort of synergy there where it makes sense for us to go see her collection. So let's do that right now. Hello? Hello, is this Donna? Yes. Hey Donna, how are you doing? My name's Ty. I, I got your information from the folks over here at the Sports Card Expo. How are you? Oh yes, hi, how you doing? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. We're, we're actually in town from the United States. We're actually up here speaking on a panel, but we, uh, we happened to go around the country buying up collections and, and one of the guys walked over to me and said, hey, we got some information from a lady named Donna about your husband passing away, which I'm, I'm sorry to hear, but it sounds like you're, you're trying to sell a collection. I am, and it's really tough to try and figure out what to do and how to do it. And these two guys are, are really helping me a lot. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so are you, where are you kind of at with things? Are you... Are you trying to sell it still, or do you have a couple guys taking care of it for you? We'd be very interested if you're still looking to sell it. Oh, yes, of course I am. Yeah, I am. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> um, I have some really obscure stuff that, um, and I have comic books too, probably more than a hundred, I think. Wow, oh, okay. I don't know. It's just everything, hockey, baseball, basketball, football. Uh, there's even a set of Harley Davidson. Um, there's a lot of um, the X-Men and uh, okay. the, like Elf, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. It's really collectible. Like people, it's very, very hard to get yeah. that kind of stuff that okay. I've, you know, seen. And, Okay, so late 80s, early 90s is a hard no for us, probably. But we'll see what happens with uh, Brandon, whoever Brandon is. And we'll get some information and go from there. The first call is always the most important. We know that we have a cram schedule the next few days, and it sounds like we might just be headed down a rabbit hole in this collection. We're going to investigate more tomorrow, but tonight we need to go back and get some rest and be prepared to surprise the boys with a tour of downtown Toronto in the morning. idea where we're going we're just exploring the city where we just connected from the subway to a streetcar we don't have a map we're just trusting Mercer here to get us back home remember where we came from was it up down when in doubt Tim Hortons oh my gosh there are people up there. They're moving. You guys ready? This one's a little bit more uh, nerve wracking. Oh my wax. It's like we'll see early 2000s basketball with clearance stickers on it. You know, that was a time when maybe people weren't, the economy wasn't good and people weren't buying and all of a sudden, you know, 10 years later, those are the products that you want. Oh, okay. uh, we're gonna come back for the Luca. Regardless of whether we do a deal or not. I didn't even chat. I'm gonna give this to you. Yeah. Thank you. My pleasure, man. What is it? So what is 1.9? Hold on, hold it there, hold it there. It's 2,500. He, he knows what he just did. He just made sure we come back for the Luca. This guy is smart. I like he knows what's up. Oh, I like talking about the heart string. Okay, so a part of being out here at a Canadian show is running the numbers of the conversion rates at all times. And we're trying to not fall into the trap of just thinking about US dollars, but also thinking about what they're thinking about, which is Canadian dollars. It's been an amazing show so far. I think I just had the biggest sale of my life about 15 minutes ago. So it's just been a great show and I think it's going to continue to be a great show. We'll see you all here next year. I'm looking up a Prism Jalen Green Cracked Ice. There you go. Is it graded or not? Not graded. 30. It's the last one. Oh, that's not even. There you go. 25. Last one sold for 25, 22. 
Try to get it for 18 to 20 bucks US, no more. So like 30? So for here, yeah, th 30 Canadian max. Okay. okay. So we'll, we'll say, say, hey, look, last one sold for 18, 20 bucks. We'll give you 25 US, or 25 Canadian. Okay. okay. Where are you at on this? I got like 60, 55, 60 bucks. 55? What's the last comp? Last comp. That's 20 US. Okay, yeah, I know. Some of the ones on there though are like off center. Like that. if you look at the card, it's not like yeah. slanted or anything. That's like a, a well conditioned card. Would you take, oh, what, what do you want to pay for it? What would you try to pay for it? Uh, would you do like 30 or 25? <laughs> I can't. 30 Canadian? No, I can't. Sorry. No? No. Because he's a kid, I'll do 40, but like, if I sell it to anyone else, then 55, 60 bucks. 40, or is that too much for you? Um, and I'll give him a Don Mitchell rookie to sweeten it. It's like a five dollar card, but like it's forty bucks. You're saving like twenty, plus you're getting a Don Mitchell. How about thirty-five for both? Oh, he's supposed to do the deal. All right, I'll do that. I'll do that. Right. that deal? Yeah. All right. All right. Yours awesome. Thank you. Good dealing with you. Yeah, you too. Thanks. So I got a Jalen Green cracked dice, and I got this Donovan Mitchell rookie. So you were at 30, so he threw a price at you at 40, right? You were at 30. Split it. Next time just go off 35 and it's a deal, because he was ready to split it with you. Mercer just finished negotiating a few cards for his collection. Now I'm on the hunt to go find some Nuggets cards for my collection. I'm also on a mission to hunt down a particular Luka Doncic Prism Auto to add to Matt's collection as well. What's that? What is that? 13-ish? 1350? It's a video. I don't want this back. 13. Yeah, 1365. Well, that's, uh, no. our, our max would be 1-4 Canadian. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because that, that's matching a comp and you're saving the fees at that point. It's true. Show me another one. Show me another one. Oh. I go find another one. It, I, it, I feel really bad. It's one of those things where I'm like, I don't mind. Like, I, I love it. So it's like sentimental. I wouldn't mind holding it. Okay, pay. Uh, yeah. Thank you, 100. What's 1 4 for you? What does that make it? US dollar wise. And the 1 4 is uh, 1076. Okay. So that's it's literally at the last comp then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly the last comp. Last comp was August. I know yeah. stuff has, has gone up a little bit since then. It's your card, man. It's your card. Tell me what you like. If it's that, that's not going to work, it's not going to work. The lowest would be uh, so 1.5. So 1.53. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to pay more in comps in this market. Yeah, no, I get that. I get yeah. that. Yeah, I, I wish you could, I could go though. It's one of the few, like my Mahomes cards and my like. Yeah, there's, there's only a few that I wouldn't go to lower on. All right, so I know the cards that I want right now, but in order to get to the price that I really need to be at, I'm gonna use the old combine and reduce strategy. Add as many cards as I can to the package deal so that I can get a larger discount to make the transaction worthwhile. Let me see if I can buy something else from you then too. How about that? Yeah, looking at that maxi. I was, I was looking at it for him. Let me see. I want some nuggets, man. I. You don't got any Jokic, you don't got any Jamal's, right? I big on Jamal. Canadian. Uh, I mean, it's all over the place. Should I look in there for a minute? Maybe I should. Okay, so you're, you're at seven. Whoops, 750. You're at five and 750. Uh, there's no real cost on this. I was gonna say 100, I'm not sure. So, plus just for argument's sake, 100. Okay, so you're eight. USA? Okay. Uh, Eight. Throw this in. Okay, so we're still at eight. Um, again, twenty. Okay, so eight twenty. Okay, so if you're at, we're at nine. You're at five on this. That's fourteen. You're at twenty nine hundred. Then all in, right? Fifteen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I feel like that would probably came down because of the like. Wow, that's pretty close to book though on a lot of those. I mean, I'm paying book value on them. Like the Jamals and stuff I'm paying, what you sell them for. Less sales tax, less fees. Right, yeah. All right, you're at 29, I'm at 25. I mean, how about 26.50 for all of it? We're not moving on the Luca for you. 27.50, 26.50, let's flip it. Flip a coin? You're down for it. I'm one of one so far, so. 
All right. 2650 or 2750, we'll flip a coin for it. You call it in the air? Okay. Twenty six fifty it is. <laughs> How do we tag you? How do we find you? Social. Fill my PV sports cards on okay. Instagram. Just find me there. Okay. Michael. Cool. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. So that deal was it got more complex as we were going because we we realized we're not going to get him to where we needed to be in the Luca, and so we started finding other cards that I wanted to package into the deal. So we ended up getting him to move basically another 40, 45% on the cards I wanted. Matt got the Luca. I got some, some Doncic and some Jamal Murray autos and a really sweet glass. Let me show you this. These are apparently short printed to 15, but I haven't seen any of the absolute glass Jamal Murray's. And that's created Jim Mitt. Pretty sweet. Can you see me through it? Okay, so we have 15 minutes till the show closes. I'm gonna go try to make a deal on one more Jokic Silver Kevin Durant Auto, which I'm just kind of getting sucked into because it looks so cool. USA Auto and a Jamal uh, and another Jokic Auto, number to 25. So I think he's around 2,500 Canadian. I'm gonna try to get him down to 1,500 Canadian. If I can settle like 1,700, I'd be really good with this deal. So that's the Jokic Silver. I, I, the Jokic Silver. It's yours, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the one I'm uncertain about, but the Jokic Auto, the Jokic Silver, and the Durant. Okay. And how much? So you're at you're at twenty three fifty. So the Durant Auto and the Jokic Auto. So those three. Sweet. Yeah. That Steph's not numbered, right? The supernovas aren't. It's sharp. Look Do you know what they are? It should it's... be. Oh, they? Okay. I think it is. At uh, 75. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, that's sweet. What about 17 for all of them? Uh, I think 1850 is where I'm going to stand. Firm on it. Firm 1850? Yeah. 2350. Yes, you're just kind of throwing that in, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to run the US dollar conversion in my head here. Yeah, what's it? What is it? One three now? One two nine? God, I'm just cons I just don't know about this one. What do you What are you comping that at? What is that? Well, I, I, like, I think the lowest I've been telling everybody is eight hundred bucks. Like back, there was a different one before. It was like it was like fifteen hundred US at one point. Okay, it's a different. Okay, how about eighteen hundred? I'll do it. Deal. All right. <laughs> what's going on with you, Australia? Yeah. Well, okay. So Australia is a big NBA massive country. NBA market. So you're. What do you collect? Me. Yeah. Uh, I'm a Knicks fan. So OG you, Knicks fan from 91. Yeah. Okay, so like Ewing. Ewing. Oakley, all no. those guys. Starks, yeah. okay. All that. So collect those guys. I like the newer guys. Quick, uh, Obi Toppin. Um, yeah, RJ. Yeah. What are you doing here at this show? What's the... I live about three kilometers Oh, okay. So you don't live in Australia. You're from Australia. Got I'm it. Australia. Beautiful. I'm Australia. I'm Australia. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how, is it hard to find NBA stuff here? Yes. I found it really hard. Yes. Okay. It's here, but you got to look for it. Yeah. Um, there's some amazing dollar bins if you've got the patience. Oh. Like, I uh, I think there's like you can get 13 cards for 10 bucks and they were each worth three to four dollars. Okay. I think that's the play right now in the hobby, to be honest with you. Okay. He's exactly right. When times get tough and the economy is struggling, which it is right now, people don't just stop loving the hobby. They just generally have less disposable income. So they want their dollar to go farther. Dollar bin sales, lower eBay buy it nows, and even lower end product all tend to pick up velocity. Very good observation. Everything's down the toilet. Like I'm, I'm getting Kobe rookie slabs for seventy dollars. Oh my goodness. PSA nights. I don't know. Is that the, play? The you great hobby play? reset. That's what I've been saying. It was the great hobby reset. And that's yeah. what we're saying. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. The OGs are selling for what they were selling for three years ago. Yeah. We've reset. Yeah, with the exception of I was picking up those '96 Kobe's for four dollars on Compsy. Now they're uh, now they're like a hundred bucks. 
Yeah. You can't get everything. No, Come on. I can't win. I can't win. <laughs> well, thank you, man. Thanks for watching our show. I love it. Yeah. Cheers. Appreciate it. See ya. We're trying to find parking here, but maybe once we get it, both of us get in, we can just sit down and we can chat for a minute. Does that sound good? Three gentlemen on the stage here, Ty from Chasing Cardboard, Jeremy Lee from Sports Car Live and Tag, and Jeff Wilson from Sports Car Investor. We ended up talking to friends of Donna uh, just a few minutes ago, and they're gonna see if it makes sense for us to come over later today or tomorrow to go check out this collection and dig through the piles and understand what exactly is there. So we're looking forward to that, but in the meantime, we're gonna go try to look at some hockey cards. Hey, what's up, Brandon? How are you? Good, good, good. Yeah, man, cool. Uh, okay. So, right. Okay, so to, so Donna doesn't feel quite comfortable getting on camera. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we'll be able to buy the whole collection. It doesn't make a lot of sense for us since we're up here and I think it's too big for us to take back, but we can keep trying to find someone for you and wish you best of luck. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for trying, man. I really appreciate it. All right. Talk to you later. Okay. So it didn't work out with Brandon. They thought it was just a little too soon for them to maybe piece out the collection. They didn't feel like Donna was really interested in being on camera. And frankly, I think they're just a little, there's a lot of uncertainty with really what they have. And so I think they're going to try to maximize top, you know, their, their prices of their collection through a local buyer. I think they found a couple of people here at the show that will, will be better for them. So it's all right, it didn't work out, but we gave it a shot. And it was a, at least a good conversation. We were able to help them a little bit. Okay, so we wrapped up day two at the Sports Card Expo. And as with any of these shows, there's usually a trade night. And trade nights, for those that don't know what they are, are really just a room for people to come in and set up their cards and let people come look at them. It's not for dealers, it's just for normal collectors that wanna sell and trade and do all that fun stuff that you do in the hobby. And so our two boys are set up in there with some cards laid out. We're just gonna walk around and see if we can make some deals and show you what a trade night's all about. Thank you. So you can see everyone's laid out, doing their thing. People come up and check it out. Nice work. Thanks, man. What are you, what? Where's Matt? Get over here. He's uh, from Dallas. He, we flew up for the show from Dallas. He's a massive Luca collector. All right, so let's see it. This is the best Luca cards we've seen all week. All right, so what's your name? Luca. Your name's Luca? Stop. Okay, his name's Luca. Uh, so we, we came here, one of our producers from Dallas, looking for Luca Doncic. You probably have the best Luca cards that we've seen so far. What's going on here? How old are you? I'm 14. You're 14. How do you have the best Luca cards in the entire city so far? So you started when you were nine, yeah. buying cards, investing, and you ended up with this. Show me your top three favorite cards. All right, so we got, oh wait, is that autoed? Yeah, Oh, I didn't even notice that was autoed. So you got this one, what else you got? Jaron Jackson. Dude, come on. This guy. Would you sell this card? Maybe. You would. I'm from Kansas City. What would you What would you sell that car for if you had to think about it? Man, that's like that's an insane amount of money going to a 14 year old. Here you go. These are your two cards. What would you take on it right now? You What would you do? Two point five. If you're gonna sell it on eBay, you're gonna pay 10 12 percent. Probably offer you two thousand dollars. I have to pass it. You can pass in two thousand. This guy started when he was nine. This is my son. He's Fourteen now, and he's got stupid collection. Stupid collection. Yeah. Really good to meet you. And your name's Luca. Okay, thanks so much, man. I wish we could work something out. If you, if you change your mind, let me know. It's so like a stick. Wayne Gretzky, run it. It's 
So I came here hoping to find like Michael Porter's. Oh yeah, because you're you're a big Michael Porter. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mizzou guy. So Jokic for the Nuggets. Yeah. And he and Matt's looking for Doncic. Okay. There's a lot of Doncic. Yeah. But you, I mean, you can't find any Michael Porter stuff. No, no. It's like no, you, it's either who yeah. or no, nah, man. Yeah, sorry. it'll either be it'll either be like, but like you'll you'll see a lot of like base stuff here. I don't see that. Yeah, I, I thought it's that. Yeah, it's a lot of base. So I think keeps people quite haven't got the memo on that, but it is what it is. You know what I have? Yeah, it's gonna, there's a lot more kids. I feel like in, in the Toronto show. Okay. Or I don't know if that's true or not. Okay. Yeah, but uh, like it's like a more younger feel to it. Yeah. Than, I haven't been in the NASA, I'll probably go next year, but... Okay. So, I got a question around strategy for trade nights. What is the strategy for people that set up a table here? Is it just to keep trading or is it to sell? Like, what is your strategy to trade night? To trade and to sell. Uh, get there early so you get a spot. I'm super, like, old and lazy, so... My uh, <laughs> strategy is to get here early. Plant my seed and wait for people to show up. Okay. So the feedback I've been hearing as people are walking out is that there's not a lot of big boy cards in here tonight. Is that what you're seeing, or what do you what do you? I'm I'm personally not a big player, but there are guys with some heat here for sure. Um, you just have to find it. First trade night. Well, first Canadian trade night for you. Enjoy. Would you do it again? Uh, yeah, I would. You walked out with the curry, you traded up. Would you walk out with anything? Nope. Uh, you know, I always like every video and tell everyone to watch your channel. Thank you for that, yeah. yeah. Matt gets all the credit. He's the guy behind uh, the camera doing the magic. Yeah, no, you guys are <laughs> you guys are doing great. You, I think you're the best, so. Oh, I appreciate that. All right. All right. came away with some great stuff. I know Matt negotiated and got the, the Luka Doncic. The kids got some great stuff. What'd you guys think? Yeah, this this was good. I mean, this is a great way to kind of icing on the cake for the whole weekend. Uh, I'm really glad with some of the stuff I got today, so. So I'm still a little bummed about the Donna ordeal. You know, we came into Toronto thinking that we're gonna find a collection to chase and go into someone's house and really explore that like we normally do in these cities. and and. Obviously we're out here for a conference, speaking at a conference, but that one kind of bummed me out. It's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. I really can't get the desserts out of my mind. What a phenomenal experience up in Canada. The Sports Card Expo was impressive and their leadership team was absolutely stellar. We were also humbled by the hospitality of so many viewers. It's pretty fun connecting some names with some of those crazy screen names. Now, there wasn't a big collection purchase, but I got to use that time to add some really cool cards to my personal collection. Nikola Jokic, Michael Porter Jr., and Jamal Murray are all headed back home with me. Jackson and Mercer also acquired some good stuff, including this Jalen Green rookie. But prices are really fragile right now, and even this card, with Green playing lights out, has had a hard time holding up its value. But one thing's for sure. This trip opened our eyes to how big our hobby really is. Canadians brought the heat, and they left us excited to get back across the border for more. Keep chasing.